I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at using your Nest Learning Thermostat to dehumidify your home. Um, so you may know that when you run your air conditioner in your house, which you can obviously do from your Nest Thermostat, it's not only cooling the air in the house, but it's also dehumidifying it. So it's reducing the indoor humidity. And um, I have my thermostat pulled up here in the Nest app on my phone, and you can see down at the bottom that currently my indoor humidity is 53%. Um, so that's that's a fine level to be at. That's actually a pretty good uh, level. I usually like to keep it within probably a 30% to 70% range. Um, once you get over 70% and you start to get higher, then you start to risk having mildew and molds growing um, and you know paper can get kind of soggy and that kind of thing. So often people use a dehumidifier, especially if you live in a climate where there's a lot of humidity or you know if it's the rainy season like here in California, and it's been raining for a few days, the humidity can really start to build inside the house um, and you would want to be able to lower that. Now one way you can do that is actually using your Nest Learning Thermostat and your home's air conditioner. And you can actually use the device to dehumidify even if you don't need to cool your house. So say you know it's the middle of the rainy season in California or you live in a very humid climate and you want to bring that downstairs humidity, indoor humidity number down, um, you can actually do that by setting up a setting in the Nest thermostat called cool to dry. Uh, so we're going to go to the little gear in the upper right. I'm going to go to cool to dry. I currently have it switched off and it's going to explain how that feature works. Basically, it'll run your air conditioner when the humidity gets too high, even if the temperature is in your, in your normal range. So even if you're not too hot in your house, um, but you just want to lower the humidity, it'll run the system and run your air conditioner and that will pull the uh, water out of the air and reduce your indoor humidity. Um, the challenge with this is that because you're running your AC, it can get kind of expensive. It can also cool your house down too much. So you can get down below whatever your actual setting was on the thermostat. Um, but you know, for certain climates or for certain conditions, this can be really helpful. So if you just want to have, um, you know, lower risk of mildew and, and, uh, and molds and things like that growing in your house, or it's just too humid after a long rainy spell, you can go in, select that cool to dry setting, and when the thermostat detects that your humidity has jumped beyond a certain range, it will actually run the AC, even if it's already cold in your house, it'll run it for long enough to bring that humidity down and then stop. Um, and again, you know, the downsides, as it says here, are more expensive, and also you might have a colder house than you necessarily want. But again, in certain climates or certain conditions, this can be a really helpful feature and can avoid having to have a separate dehumidifier. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.